governors of Louisiana and Florida and Alabama all sat down with the, pres with the president today on his trip to the Gulf. But Mississippi Governor Haley Barber was not there. And on this show, when we want to know more about what's going on with a politician and why, we turn to Kent Jones and TMI. Hi, Kent. Hi, Rachel. Mississippi Governor Haley Barber has had, let's say, a unique perspective on what's been happening in the Gulf. Come on down here and play golf, enjoy the beach, catch a fish, and uh, pay, pay a little sales tax while you're here. Tired of all the doom and gloom surrounding the oil spill? Wouldn't it be nice if someone were a little more upbeat? There is not certainty here that this is Armageddon, that something terrible is going to happen. We may have a, um, as, as the Secretary said, we may be hit by Sheen, uh, which is negative impact, but not a, not a great big impact. Certainly not a catastrophe. People need to understand, don't be frantic. Mississippi's Republican Governor Haley Barber looks at the BP oil disaster looming off the coast of his own state and sees not devastating corporate malfeasance, but an accident. It's not Armageddon, it's a sheen. The news coverage is killing our tourist business. Everybody thinks that the Gulf Coast all the way around is ankle deep in oil, and of course it's not. Why does the media have to be such a Debbie Downer? It's just oil. Here's how Governor Barber described the toxic sludge in the Gulf. Weathered, emulsified, caramel-colored moose, like the food moose. Once it gets to this stage, it's not poisonous. But if a small animal got coated enough with it, it could smother it. But if you got enough toothpaste on you, you couldn't breathe. Yes, smothering in toothpaste is a major concern right now. But such are the mental gymnastics of 62-year-old Haley Reeves Barber, a Republican insider's insider. Look at how his career started. He skipped the first semester of his senior year at Ole Miss to work on Richard Nixon's 1968 election campaign. Barber quickly worked his way up the conservative food chain as a heavy-hitting lawyer and lobbyist and served as chairman of the Republican National Committee during the glorious Newt Gingrich Revolution year of 1994 which gave us such luminaries as John Ensign, Mark Sanford, and Bob Ney. While Barber was RNC chairman, oil and coal companies donated more than $30 million to Republicans, nearly three times the amount given to Democrats. Oil and gas and utility industries were also a major contributor to Barber's Mississippi gubernatorial campaigns, to the tune of $1.8 million. So when something like a disastrous oil spill comes along, who's going to fight to keep the giant oil company accountable? Governor Haley Barber? Really? He told the Mississippi Manufacturers Association, quote, a bunch of liberal elites were hoping this would be the three-mile island of offshore drilling. As if, in Barber's world, not only does America need to keep drilling now, we need to drill in shallower waters. I think the secretary's moratorium last week on sh shallow water drilling was absolutely uncalled for, and I hope it's been lifted. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? And if it does, well, it's not like it's bad, right? After all, Barber thought the current spill was only as bad as the gas sheen commonly found around ski boats. Quote, we don't wash our face in it, but it doesn't stop us from jumping off the boat to ski. Keep skiing, Governor. But whatever you do, don't look down. Thank you, Kent. TMI, indeed.